Hey guys, so last week Daryl contacted me and he wanted to know some more information on this, my DIY workout bench. Check it out. All right, so overall, this thing is 51 inches long. All right, initially it wasn't that long, but I decided to put a two by four on either end. Originally, it was right at four feet, which is perfect because that's the size plywood that I happen to have just lying around. The top of it, is right at 11 inches. Um, it's a little bit tricky to measure, but basically I just started with, you know, like a 16 inch wide board, laid on that, determined if it was comfortable or not, and then kept on cutting it down until I found a width that was nice and comfortable for me. If you decide to make your own, you're gonna have to kind of adjust accordingly based on your, your anatomy and, and uh, your comfort level. Um, I didn't put a pad on here um, simply because I didn't want to. Um, I just didn't see a need for it. Um, plus upholstery is not exactly one of my strong points and like I said I just didn't really see a need for it um, I did round over the edges a little bit um, I sanded very very nice and clean and smooth and I did countersink every single one of these screw holes all right now the anatomy of this thing is actually pretty ingenious um, it's not my design um, I basically took it from a sawhorse design that I saw years and years ago. Um, it's kind of hard to show you on this. So I'm going to show you on uh, one of my little little benches. Same exact design. Okay, if you look at the end of this, it is simply an I-beam. That's all it is. You got a 2x4 on the bottom, a 2x4 going right here up in the middle, and on just this one, I've got a 2x6. Um, on my bench over here is just the, uh, the piece of plywood that's up on top. Um, I did angle these legs a little bit right here and to, to set the angle is super simple. Um, you just take that width right here and it just drops right in. All right, It's just super simple how this works. Um, and because it is an I-beam, it is very, very, very strong. Um, I've had you know upwards of 400 pounds just on this little thing <clears throat> and it's held up totally fine. Now on this, it's simply a larger version. I've got a two by six, or excuse me, uh, just a one by six down here at the bottom. This middle part here that goes all the way through is a four by four. And then I've got just two by four caps on the side. Um, overall, the height of this, we're looking at about, about 16 inches. All right. Display the legs all the way down at the bottom. You're looking at uh, 15. Um, and that's that's basically the design. Um, I did decide to double up on the three quarter inch top, so that actually comes to just shy of uh, one and a half inches. Looking at one and three quarter, or excuse me, one and three eighths. All right, but it is super bulky, super beefy, and um, it's done the job for me for uh, gosh, two years at this point, maybe longer. I don't remember, but. Uh, Anyway, Daryl, thanks for your question. Um, hopefully, to give you a little bit of insight on uh, on how this thing was put together. Um, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, whines, bitches, moans, groans, leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching.